Well, hello there, my Cities in Motion 2 followers. It is me, Quirky Afro, here bringing you another Cities in Motion 2 video, and this one's going to be special. Finally, they have decided to do DLC. Finally, I've been waiting so long for this. You do not understand. The game kind of went stale a bit. I'm still doing videos. I still need to produce a lot of videos on my Perf, I uh, Perf Island. I need to do one in Pittsburgh. If you have any suggestions of any custom maps, please let me know in the comments. And I will carry on with my sandbox map as well. But now my sandbox map will be a bit more interesting because there's new vehicles. Uh, I think for now, uh, on Steam, you can get the Bus Mania DLC and then there's the Tremor Trams or Tram Tremors a DLC which is available in game so it's kind of a bit confusing that both haven't been shown on Steam and one's on Steam, one's not in game, one's in game, one's not on Steam. But anyway, in this video I'm going to showcase to you the Bus Mania DLC which uh, comes with five new buses and in the UK it costs about 3 99 so it's not too bad. Five buses, five detailed buses. So anyway, I have my uh, bus depot here. I'm just going to quickly... Uh, let's just let's use expensive bus stops. Let's just let's quickly make a um, let's quickly make a bus route that just goes just a quick one that just does a nice little suck. Wait, sorry, we're making we're making tram stops. I just realised. Okay, for, uh, for a bit, let's just leave the tram stops there. It doesn't really matter. So anyway, let's just make a nice little circle. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's create a line, just uh, just a, like, uh, a nice little dummy line, so we can um, test out these new buses. I think it's four single decker buses, one and only one double decker. Uh, a bit ashamed about that. Um, one double decker, you know. I don't know. Maybe they'll release more in the future, but still, one double decker. It's kind of like you know. I don't know, I expected maybe two or three, you know, uh, single deckers are so common, or even a bendy bus, would it, but you get that in trolley buses. Apparently there's going to be um, a, um, a DLC for each type of vehicle type, I've read like someone on the, uh, like, subreddit, um, the subreddit of uh, Season Motion, and uh, there's a, there's a one for metro, one for trolley buses, one for water buses, but the two that have come out now recently is these two, the Bus Mania, which was pub uh, publicized, while the the, tr uh, the Tram Tremors wasn't publicized. I don't know why, it's just in-game, it just it wasn't said anything about it. But anyway, I'll do a video of that after this one. Okay, so let's showcase the, f actually first before we do that, let's just go into the line and let's uh, just... Uh, let's let's make it like a really short period about a uh, period of time so a lot lo a lot of buses will come out what time is Monday uh, let's just let's just okay that's a bit ludicrous but anyway it doesn't matter we just we want uh, as many buses to come out so we can actually showcase them to you guys okay uh, let's uh, buy the first bus uh, where is it? I'm getting lost anyway. Okay, uh, let's go down from the list from the smallest to the biggest. The first one we get is the Sternberger Proterra. It pr purchase price is one thousand. Maintenance cost per hundred kilometers is five uh, five thirty dollars or whatever. I don't know. Uh, diesel consumption is fifty five gallons. I, I would say per uh, per hundred kilometers. Has a, a size of sixteen seats. Well, uh, the size. Uh, this is the fun thing. It doesn't actually tell you. It's 16 seats is the recommended size, while it's probably about 30 maximum. That's that's the uh, 16 is the max it'll get uh, that people get comfortable to. So see, it's for the Toyota Hayaku, if I'm saying that pro properly. 10 seats is the recommended amount that should be in it. It can go up to I think 18 or 20, but 10 is the main one. So let's have a look at the Stern Pro, uh, Sternberger Proterra. Let's just wait till it gets out. There we go. It's coming out. Quite a nice looking bus, I have to say. It's uh, kind of looks futuristic. Well, not futuristic, but you know what I mean. It looks a bit more modern. So let's just quickly zoom down into here. Just have a look at it. That's pretty good. Has a nice little sliding door. And generally, it's it's pretty nice. I actually, um, it's it's simple and has quite nice lights. Quite modern, and I I, I could see put I could I, I could see myself putting some more bus routes in my uh, sandbox map, or even uh, other maps that I start building new routes on for the series of videos that I'm doing on this channel. I can see myself putting those buses. Up. That's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's now uh, build. Actually, no. Let's 
let's uh, let's do a, uh, another one now I, I kind of like I don't know how I was gonna do this but uh, let's just let's just sell all the all the buses we have if I can find the list list of vehicle list of vehicles list of stops list of show list of how many did I buy oh I only bought one okay that makes sense actually that, that actually makes a lot more sense I just buy one so just go around okay uh, let's now go to the next one which is the pa pa Pavlov Pavlov Arivia if, if that's Arriva Arriva I don't know how it's I don't know, it's probably how you pronounce it. Anyway, the Pavlov Arriva. It's 1,200 purchase price. Maintenance cost is 730. Diesel consumption is 90. And it seats, um, on average, the comfortable amount of seating is 22. Probably goes up to 40 or something like that. I don't know. And the service quality is 95%, which is pretty good. And it's an acceleration of mediocre. So let's, let's have a look at that. Now let's showcase it. It's coming out. Very nice looking bus as well. It looks a bit similar to the um, I can't remember what's it called, but it's it's very similar to. It kind of has that nice car. It's uh, this could be the, I think this is the uh, the similar. It's like to the to the Optar. It's kind of like the same like the Optar bus in Cities of Motion One, a bit. You know, you, you can see it kind of has that kind of curve at the front, like that kind of bulge. And if we if we buy another one, I don't know if we just uh, if we actually captured the um. If we captured the door of the bus, we'll, we'll buy another one and we'll showcase that. Uh, if we, I don't think we saw the door open, so let's just capture that again. Let's go into the nice little bus stop view and see how the doors open. Just wait till it gets out of the thing. Yeah, but the, this, this this one does look a bit like the Optar one. I think that, I think that's what the well in the UK the, these are the Optar buses. Optar make like these kind of um, oh that's quite nice how they open. But yeah, they make these kind of Optar um, Optar make these kind of like buses with a bulge at the front. I don't really like the design, but yeah, they look quite nice and fresh in this game. And in the livery, I have them in this kind of black and white I went for when I was making the pro my profile. The lights look better on this game, uh, I have to say, than the first game. So looks pretty good. Okay, so the next bus. Let's go on to the next bus. We already have our um, our St St Sternberger Proterra coming back, so it's pretty good. Uh, the next bus is the Maurice Automaton, and it's 1,350. Uh, its maintenance cost is six. Its uh, fuel uh, diesel consumption is 80. It seats comfortably 24 people. 80% service quality, and it has mediocre uh, mediocre um, acceleration. So let's buy one. Let's just wait till the um, Let's just wait till the uh, uh, the Sternberger uh, Proterra just moves around. It looks pretty good. I have to say this this one is is quite deal so far. The most deal one so far out of the two I've shown. So let's get a more uh, let's get a Maurice Automaton. I really like the name of that. Okay, there it comes out. It has a really it has a really slump kind of front. Oh, and it is a bendy bus. Look at me saying at the beginning of the video they should have they they didn't include bend. This is a bendy bus, but a very small bendy bus. Okay, this is quite nice. I can see this used for nice shuttle services or something. I don't know. Like if they include airports and stuff in the future, this could be a really nice shuttle bus. But yeah, it it has sliding doors. Kind of looks a bit like a tram, a bit if you know what I mean. Because it, the the vehicle kind of looks back to front. It looks like the the back could be the front, the front could be the back, etc. So that's an interesting bus. Okay, next bus. We're, let's just go down the list. The next bus is the Comet Sun. One thousand three hundred. Uh, maintenance cost pretty high. Eight thirty per hundred kilometers. It's uh, diesel consumption is hundred and ten. That is quite a lot. It's is it's more than the Jubilee Futurus, which is a double decker bus. Remember about that. Uh, it's service quality seventy five percent, and it still has mediocre acceleration. So let's buy one and uh, see how it looks like. Now this looks like more of the kind of conventional bus you would normally see. Uh, I don't think they have these ones in Britain, but yeah, this is the kind of conventional bus you would see. So let's have a let's uh, go right next to the bus stop and see how the the doors open. It's quite nice, quite a, a square type of uh, shape. Nice tail lights. Oh, it even has the flaps for to open the engine. So yeah, that is the. Um, I can't even remember the name, but uh, it's the Comet Comet Sun. So yeah, there we go, and that one goes off. 
decent design. I think that's a kind of basic kind of single decker bus square. Not too much detail. While the other ones are more kind of, you know, detailed because they're curvy and you know that. So, I think the next bus, I think we're on the final bus, I think. Or maybe there's one more. No, final bus, which is the Ar Arnold 202. The only double decker bus that actually made it into this first uh, bus DLC. And it's, uh, let me go down, uh, it's 1,600, so it's quite costly. Uh, it's, uh, maintenance is not that high, 630. It's less than the Jubilee Futurist. It seats 32 um, comfortably, so it probably has a, ma a better um, seating capacity than the Jubilee. And, uh, yeah, diesel 95, diesel consumption 95, uh, poor acceleration. That's, the bigger the bus gets, it's going to obviously have poor um Acceleration. So let's just buy one of these com uh, these Arnold 202s, and let's see it come out of the um, come out of the depot when it is scheduled to. Let me see if it it is. Uh, let's go 14, 14. Yep, it should be scheduled to come out. Interesting. Let me just. Uh, let me just do the time intervals a bit more. Oh no, we have a um, <laughs> we have a uh, what's it? We have a uh, Pablo Barrio Arrivia camera. I should really sell this. Uh, let's no, let's sell it. Come on, send out the Arnold two hundred two. We want to see the Arnold two hundred two. Come on, it's, it's in there. There's one bus in there. Standing, yeah, it's standing in bus step of one, and it should come out. I've, I've programmed it. Oh no, it's here. It comes. Here is the Arnold 202, the uh, the only double decker. To, oh, and it has three doors. That's really nice. You don't see much double decker doors with that that, that kind of combination. You may see them in European countries, well, definitely in the UK. We don't have um, triple doors like that. So that's pretty cool. It's quite detailed. And the reflections in the mirrors are pretty good, I have to say. This is what I like about this uh, this second game, this is Motion 2, because it's so much detailed and the engine is much better. Those are really nice tail, tail lights. So yeah, that is the Arnold 202, the only double-decker. Let's catch up with it. The only double-decker in the uh, first uh, bus DLC, the Bus Mania DLC. So yeah, that's pretty cool I like the front lights as well it looks like a man bus you know uh, man the like, like lorries and stuff like that so yeah that is the uh, the Arnold 202 and yeah here comes along the Maurice Automaton that is by far the best name out of the whole of the five buses there is you then have the what's it the Sternberger Proterra the uh, I can't even remember the names the what's it the the Pavlov Arrivia, Arriva, uh, the Comet San, which is probably the most expensive one to run if you're thinking of uh, putting it onto some routes. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys love this little showcase video I did. I'm gonna do one for the trams. The I think it's called the Tram Terror or Trem Tremor Trams or Tram Tremor or something like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little showcase video for the. Uh, first bus DLC called Bus Mania. You can get it from Steam. In the UK, it costs uh, three ninety nine, four pounds. Should be about five dollars or something like that on the lines. Five euros, four euros. I don't know, something like that. I don't know the com the conversion of currencies and stuff like that. But I hope you like this video. More stuff to come. If you have any questions, comment down below. And I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.